outro cast. Liv, aside from talking to media today, how is your day going? Oh, it's going good. It's going very smoothly. Thank you. How about you? Non-stop, but good. And <laughs> we were connected to talk about the Serpent Queen. So you play young Catherine. How much of Catherine is there in the real Liv Hill? Very good question. Um, well, I think quite a lot. I mean, in each character, so an actress once told me that you sort of have every element of any person you play and you kind of just dial up the different uh, personalities that you have, depending on the character. I think for me, what I relate to most about Catherine is the fact that she's always watchful, always alert. She's alert from a place of trying to survive. I'm alert from a place of just trying to figure out who people are to socially survive, I guess. Um, you know, she's always looking at people's body language, their, um, can she trust them, their, their facial expressions. And that felt very easy and relatable to play. So it sounds like you're a good active listener. I think so. It might be a bit of a defensive mechanism as well, but yes, I, I do like to ask questions and, and figure out who, who people are. To play amateur psychologist, is that about the family military background, having to move around a lot and gauge new situations? Yes, uh, yes, probably. Absolutely. I had to do that quite a lot and, and change schools and stuff exactly. So I'm surprised you know that, but yes. <laughs> you know, when you're speaking to somebody, you try and do a little bit of research. But, research. Uh, well, I appreciate it. <laughs> well, you've had a few roles that were BAFTA nominated. I wouldn't be surprised if this is yet another one. All seriousness, when you receive a top honor, like a nomination along those lines, does it change your life in any way? Um, no, but it does change confidence. Does it change confidence? Yes, it, I guess it does for a time being, but then also that happened when I was 18. Um, and it was actually my first role. And so I felt like I kind of peaked. I was worried that it was going to be downhill from there so yeah it's probably the insecure answer but it, it kind of made me more like reliant then to it so if I don't get an award now or a nomination am I not a good actress and as a teenager that was what was going through my head now you know I that's you realize that's not what's important but it feels very lovely and and I hope that I can I hope it gives me the opportunity to open some doors that's very interesting that you can find imposter syndrome like early into a career like that but in yeah. your case I think bright things are ahead take the damn compliment so <laughs> with, with uh, Serpent Queen we only get to know about eight episodes not asking about the future but any highlights or is there a, a moment of it that was just the thing that makes you the most proud I feel really proud to be part of all of it um I, I mean, what I'm most proud of is the fact that I was able to work with these people in each department at the top of their craft in, in the world. That was such a privilege, so amazing to pe see people's passions for, for their work uh, translated through the camera and through their costume. And it was just, it was a real privilege and it, it definitely inspired me. Um, so that's what I'm most proud of. And I think I'll always look back on my time shooting that and feel incredibly grateful that I was able to, to collaborate with those people. Now, granted, you are doing press now and everyone's talking about the show, but how long has the filming part for you been done for? How long have you been kind of waiting around going, OK, now I'm going to yeah. tell the world about I, it? I left at the end of July. Uh, 2021 so it's I guess I, I'm not too sure exactly you know it, ha it feels like a long time but also the cast because we became so close because of Covid we all had to sort of lock in together we have remained really close since and we still see each other now like a, a big group of us as well and that's quite rare you usually only take one person or two people from each project because you meet so many people all the time right. whereas this one was very different and so it's felt like a long time but also now it's here. I can't quite believe it either. So what you're saying is there are Serpent Queen group threads, text threads that are still happening. We've got a WhatsApp chat called the Serpent Queen. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Fantastic. And the last question for you before I let you go, which has nothing to do with the Serpent Queen. What's okay. the last concert that you went to for fun? Oh, I went to, um, I went to an electronic French uh, festival 
concert called Astropolisis in uh, Brittany in France in June um, with I, fr with friends who I met in France. They were French. Um, the crew was all French, so I became really good friends with them, and and we all went together. and And it was, I guess, it's not really my type of music, but dun, 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 but it was a fun evening. I could get into it definitely. <laughs> On occasion, that can be great, the doop doop doops. But uh, exactly, yeah. <laughs> on this, and looking forward to what's to come next from you. Oh, thank you so much, Darren. Outro cast. <laughs>